Hello and welcome back this time. Looks very similar to last time, right? Just for comparison reason. This was last time. This is now. And I said it's usually just a form factor. Everything else is inside is pretty much the same. And it's true. However, this one works different. This has a, this is a different type of proximity switch. This was inductive one. And this thing here is an capacity one. Yeah. Maybe we can read it now on this one. It's printed a little bit bigger because it's it has bigger is a bigger sensor at all. Yeah. No also working exactly exactly the same. Not <laughs> yeah okay so it's again brown black and blue brown black and blue Brown is plus plus, blue is minus, black is signal. Yeah? It's pretty much the same. But this time it's an PNP. It's a PNP sensor. This means the load must be placed between the signal and ground. Yeah? It switches this thing to positive. Okay? PNP. It can be supplied from 6 to 36 volt, from 6 to 36 volt, and its maximum load is 300 milliamps. Okay, so this is pretty much the same. However, for us, it just looks now the difference is the difference is in in PNP and PN. Yeah, so this is PNP. I will just supply it plus. Okay. Minus. Here's the switch. Switching contact. Here is the resistor. And this time the load needs to be from signal to minus. The only thing I need now is I've shifted it. Okay. Have you seen what I did? Have you already seen, right? I used my finger, my hand, and took. You see? This is working different. Yeah? Is it also working with metal? Let's see if it's working with metal. Yes, it's working with metal as well. Yeah. This one, you can see it also has an LED. Yeah. Pretty nice for adjusting. It also do, do nuts. You can adjust the this, uh, switching, diff uh, switching distance and so on. Plastic. Oh, plastic as well. Okay. This thing here. Ah, it needs to be a little bit closer because it's very thin. Okay. Let's see. Wood. Okay. Looks pretty nice, I would say. Yeah. That's capacitor. Yeah. That's capacitive sensor in German. Capacitive sensor. Mm -hmm. There is also an oscillator inside and so on. And if some material which is changing the oscillator's capacitor, yeah, then the oscillator frequency is changing. Yeah, and the electronics sees this or notice this and switching is switching. Yeah. Depending on the material. It will also switch on different different distances. You see my hand here, water. Water is a very it, it changes capacity very very much here yeah, compared to air. So if I'm getting close, puck, it is switching. Okay? I'm pretty far away. The thin material here, the thin plastic, yeah, 
I need to be very close now, very close, almost touching it. Okay, almost touching it. But then it works also. Yeah. What capacity sensors can be done, with them can be done, is we can adjust them. They have some little screw usually on the back. Yeah. They have some little screw and we can adjust the sensitivity. The sensitivity, we can turn it on. We can turn it on and see what the thin thing makes now. Come closer. Ah, you see? Now I'm pretty far away already. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not touch it. Yeah, I'm pretty far away. And with my hand, I'm getting closer, 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 closer. Also, oh, here already. Yeah, there's a centimeter between. Yeah. So, capacity sensors can be adjusted, the sensitivity of them. Yeah? But, you know, it's not that wonderful, because, you see, if, I, if I'm getting close now, or something else gets close, like the table, you see, I'm just tilting it, and now the table is getting close, it notices the table also. Yeah? So, you see, there is always some sort of trade-off, there is always some sort of trade-off, which you need to adjust simply, yeah. but beneficial reads non-metal materials. Okay. But is not switching as accurate as the inductive sensor. Yeah. You see, if I'm moving away, yeah, then it starts to flash. Yeah. So there might be somewhere a region especially if you turn the the sensitivity very high there might be a region where it's flashing it's turning off and on off off and on off, off and on yeah adjustment thing yeah. capacity sensors capacity proximity switch next time we are going to talk about optoelectrical sensors yeah. We'll see how, the, how these are working, optoelectrical sensors. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.